Hey, Merry Christmas. Yeah, that's right. It's well after the 25th and I'm still saying Merry Christmas to everybody because it's still Christmas. That's just a fact, Jack. Everybody likes to take their Christmas trees down and their lights and people are ready to move on, but not me, not me. We have a season of Christmas. We have a season of Advent where people play Christmas music and they act like it's Christmas, but not until the 24th, 25th do we enter in to the Christmas season. So Merry Christmas to you. And uh, Happy New Year, of course, but more importantly, Venice Ada Ramos Domine. Hey guys, not here right now. And I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have this channel, you know, I just, no offense to you guys, I just don't know who you are. You know, a lot of you people seem pretty nice and I think I know some of you, but uh, I don't know who you are. Some of you could be stalking me. Some of you could be three letter agencies trying to, trying to spy on me. Like, I don't know. I kind of like my privacy. So I, I don't know if I'm going to do this channel much longer, but uh, while I'm here, I might as well educate you because I just love helping people out. So uh, what I'm talking about today is, uh, well, let's just say I had a contractor once, a guy who did my roof, put a metal roof on after we had it gotten hit by the hurricane he was a he was well off man a guy made a lot of cash doing repairs he was a great dude a little bit older but he had plenty of money to buy whatever handgun he wanted but you know what he kept in his truck for defense he kept a ruger blackhawk brand new stainless steel wood grips and looking four inch barrel not like this but man a lot that was, and he carried a 110 grain jacket hollow point and that was his defensive weapon. And I'll tell you what, a guy who works in contracting, as you, as some of you know, I've worked in, I've worked with my hands my whole life. Farming, construction, and landscaping before I joined the Marine Corps. And I can tell you, you know, that's, that's the only place a felon can usually get a job. So you're dealing with people that may have drug addictions and you got rough characters that like to uh, that like to fight and, and are part of gangs and stuff like that. And so, of course, this guy had to deal with that in his line of work. And you know what? He just carried one of these. Contractor gun is what I'm going to call it. There are times people come through my courses and they got a single action revolver. So let's talk about this for concealed carry self-defense. It is going to be, and, and let's be clear, these guns are made for fighting. This is the original mousetrap, right? The Black Hawk is great because you have, and I've done videos about this before. There's nothing new here, folks, but we're just gonna do it from concealment. You have to engage a five motor skill each time to, to, to fire this weapon. This is essentially is a safety. You take the weapon off safe. The hammer's down, it's on safe, right? So you need to practice out of the holster, knife hand, strong side hand, or as your hands come together in high retention, which I prefer to come across with your weak side hand to cock that hammer. What a great day to train because it's cold out. So let me uh, do some drills from concealment. I got a brand new Christmas gift here, a Galco holster. All right, it's for a six inch gun, whether it's a double action or single action. And we'll run some drills and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so just so we're clear, this ain't a video for you guys that are into like the single action shooting society and doing competition shit. I don't care. This is more for my my contractors out there who carry one of these in their pickup truck, and this is what they use to defend themselves. For like my Patrick Swayze characters from Red Dawn, 1984, a great documentary about uh, defending ourselves against a Soviet invasion. Right? Character carried a single action. Also, you get like A plus on style points, but it's very very finicky, and I wouldn't say finicky, but you got. You got a lot of fine motor skills here to do. To load, unload, get the gun in action, you know? So in that sense, you've got to train, man. You got to get out there, you have to train. So from concealment, do a failure to stop drill first, as quickly as we can. Cold out, here we go. All right, man, that takes a lot longer than with a regular gun, okay? So now, this is kind of what we do in the three yard line for concealed carry. 
There's, there's my squirrel hunter back there. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing. We'll do a reload. All right, I'm out. I gotta reload the gun. You can either unload them all one time. You gotta use this extractor, line it up, and then guess what? Keep it in your workspace. This is gonna take a while because ain't no speed loader or speed strip. You're gonna have to carry loose rounds somewhere in your jacket or your pocket. Get the gun up, back in action as quickly as possible. And now I'm back. Six. All right. Just because it's single action doesn't mean that we can't train with one hand only. We'll do a hammer pair, right hand only, and then a hammer pair, we can only. What if, right? Here we go. a lot of work getting that thumb around your hammer okay now what if my right hand's injured here we go uh, uh. man it's even harder on a cold day okay okay so let's back up a little bit we'll do one and one now here we go Transfer. All right, now we're gonna unload. This is the preferred way to do it. You pop one out and you load one. This is more tactical in case I'm getting what? Rushed. I'm gonna keep the gun in my workspace. Load it. When I line it up, I wanna flick that extractor rod aggressively so that casing comes out and we don't wanna play around with that too long. Here we go, extract one. Load one. I'm using 38s today because I'm not made of money. If you guys want to send me some magnums? I love you for it. Okay, now we're loaded up. All right, let's back up a little bit. Yo, this weather is absolutely nuts out here. I'll tell you, you guys. Some of you may live in parts of the country where you have some consistency in your weather. Well, that ain't where we're at. And I won't tell you where we're located, but we live in an area where just this past week, we were living with almost 80 degree days around Christmas time. And now I'm standing out here with a 75% chance of snow. So this is crazy. Here we go. All right, if you're gonna work this gun, Rapid fire, you're gonna have to learn to fan the weapon. And I know some people don't like that. It's what you see in the old cowboy movies where you're gonna come out, hold down the trigger, and work the hand with a knife hand. It's wildly inaccurate. But let's see how we do here at about 10 yards away. I'm gonna be shooting on the left target. We're gonna fire a bill drill, five shots. Here we go. wildly inaccurate I'm shooting way high and I only hit one and that's gonna be a liver shot right in the gut five shots man that's a very difficult throw. I think I may have hit yeah, just one all right my preferred way to cock this hammer if you have time is that when you draw bring it into a high retention and thumb cock it with your weak hand here we go off the wrong one because I cocked it already. All right. Okay. Well, hey guys, there's a lot of stuff for you to practice. I just realized I got my beautiful wife and my youngest son walking up to the range and I think they need my, my assistance with something. So anyway, that's a little more important. Uh, single action revolvers, you gotta practice, you gotta train. So much stuff you gotta do, man. A lot of stuff. A lot of fine motor skills to overcome in your brain. And uh, it's just like the, you know, if that's all you can afford, that's all you can afford. But um, some guys prefer them on style points, so train with them. This kind of training can save your life. All right, guys.
Michi, Ado Ramos, Domine, Merry Christmas.